Hello, my friends. I am Pastor Sean Ellis, and this is Faith Support. How is your faith today? Take a second and answer for yourself. Be honest. You know, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For many non-Christians and some Christians, this statement doesn't seem to make sense. How can you have assurance in something that you're hoping for? How can you be convicted of something that you do not see? Let me share with you a true story. There was a family that had two sisters in it. When they became adults, one gave their life and dedicated their life to following Jesus. The second did not. The second sister had a daughter of six years old who got very sick. Doctors discovered the child had a tumor in her bladder and one of the side effects is it made it difficult for her to go to the washroom. Doctors decided that surgery was required. The sister who followed Jesus came over and said, pray for your daughter's healing. You can go directly to God. He is closer to you than you think. Accept Jesus as your personal savior and he will change your life and that of your daughter. So the sister listened and accepted Jesus. The two of them then went home and prayed together for the child's pain to go away. By this time, the daughter was in the hospital ready for surgery the next day. While the mother spent the night with her daughter in the hospital, she heard a voice saying, Your prayers have been heard and your daughter is healed. The mother was immediately surprised and she realized she had awakened from a sleep. That night, the daughter was able to go to the washroom without any pain. In the morning, when the doctors came in for the preoperative uh, checkup, they had found that she had miraculously been healed and needed no surgery. The two sisters had faith in Jesus and had the assurance that he would hear their prayers. They had the conviction that Jesus would answer their prayers. In this case, the sisters hoped for the child's pain to be removed, but Jesus answered by giving them something they could not see. He removed not only the pain, but the tumor and remove the need for surgery. Jesus says in Matthew 17, verse 20, I say to you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. A mustard seed is pretty small. Jesus is saying that he will hear and answer our prayers if we have a little bit of faith. Now, at times you might be feeling that God is not willing to answer your prayers or seems to be taking a long time to do so. But we need to have faith that Jesus knows what's best for us. And while we're waiting for him to answer, which may be in a way that, that's different from what we expect, we can use that wait time to build up the strength of our faith in him so we too can have the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. I want to end today by reciting this short poem to you about faith and doubt. Doubt sees the obstacles. Faith sees the way. Doubt sees the darkest night. Faith sees the day. Doubt dreads to take a step. Faith soars on high. Doubt questions who believes. Faith answers I. How's your faith 
today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you so much for not only giving us this day, but also giving us a measure of faith. We've read in your word that we only need a little bit and put our full trust in you, and many things can be done. We also understand, Lord, that your ways are perfect. So we may ask, but you may answer different from our asking. So we put all of our wants, cares, and hopes in your hands, knowing, Lord, that you hear our prayer. And for those out there that have specific prayers, I ask that you answer them in your wonderful, magnificent way. And I ask all of these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.